this is Tanner Nolan, and I'm going to show you how to make an ocean move in Blender. Now, even I had a lot of trouble with figuring out how to make an ocean move in Blender, and it's it's kind of tricky, actually, not how you would expect. So, let's get started. Um, so, let's, first of all, it doesn't really matter what we use, a cube, anything. So, we'll just go with the default cube. Go into your modifiers tab to the right and add modifier, click ocean, and there we go. So we've got a good size ocean. And make the choppiness 1.5, it doesn't really matter. Make the resolution, that's what we need to change, 15. There we go, a bit more detailed. And the scale, just so we can see what's going on, we can make like 5, although that's way too choppy. How about we make the scale 2, uh, 2.5, okay? So that's how it's going to look, and we'll make the spatial size 75, there we go. Alright, so if we tried to play it, it's not going to play anything, because it's not animated. So what you've probably tried to do is try to animate it by going over here and adjusting the scale of it. And doing stuff like that. Well, that's what I tried when I first did it, and that didn't work. So, we're not going to do that. So, we can just shut the. keep the automatic keyframing on. And, anyhow, go to your time right over here. And set that to zero. Zero. And then hit I to add keyframe. So, hit I. And then move over to frame 250 and make the time 6. Change that to 6. And, okay, good. So now if we play it automatically, our ocean, it's kind of bumpy because it has to, it's a lot of ocean that's moving. Our mesh will move up and down kind of like an ocean. Not kind of like, like an ocean. So that's good. Good, yeah. So we'll stop playing that. And so if we rendered it, oh, by the way, save it and call it Ocean. And so now if we render it, it's going to render this weird looking mesh. We don't like that. And we want an, like a dark, cloudy sky. Well, I'm going to use, just so we can see, let's use a sun. And that'll cover the entire thing. But I'm going to use the sky as well. I'm not going to make it a stormy sky. But I'm making it just so you can see everything perfectly fine. And yeah, so let's give this a material. So select the ocean by right clicking it. And get a material. Make one. Make the specular type to word ISO. And the intensity to 0.75. And the slope to 0.025. And make the mirror 0.25. Don't worry about anything else like professional. Don't worry about that. Okay, then we're going to add a texture. Don't worry about that text thing up there. I'm not sure what that is. Hit both so we can so both see both the material and the texture. And under colors, turn on color ramp. And make the alpha all the way up to 1. And make it a really light, nah, not really light, a uh, dark ocean color. So we'll do that. And then under the clouds, instead of soft, make it hard. And then all the way down, scroll all the way down. And under influence, turn on the normal and make the normal negative 5. There we go. So it'll look a little bit like water now. And you may need to adjust the size, but if we render it right now... It's a bit small, isn't it? Like, you wouldn't have these little wave bubbles on a wave. So, make the size, try making it one first. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. The shininess is up. And then, you know, you can put a little ship out there going to sea. Doesn't really matter, but... So that's just if you get your camera in the right place. So camera, zoom in, 
Let's see. So if we played it, it's going to go like that, right in front of the camera. Perfect. Although I would like to back it up. So hit G, grab it, and move it. And go to camera view, rotate it like that. Okay, so now we have a pretty good view of our ocean. That's good. And just for the world settings, add a little mist. And that'll make it look good. How about make the depth uh, 65? And once the waves go down, that'll be noticeable. Back there, you can see the waves are a bit more misty. Anyhow, we can render that, and we can see how our rendering came out. So if we hit render animation, it'll render it, and I'm not going to have you watch the entire rendering period, so I'll be right back. Hello everyone, and we're back, and I'm going to show you the ocean, uh, how that rendered out. So go up to render here, my file, and click play rendered animation. Do it. Play rendered animation. As you can see, it's doing it right here. Oh, went over the camera a little bit right there, but that's okay. And that's just our big, a whole bunch of mesh with some materials and stuff on it, just going up and down. And that's why the ocean modifier is really good. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And I uh, hope you had a good time, and I hope that you can make your Blender Ocean just the same. And thanks for watching. Bye.